welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna set you down. I just got done with back and buys. So I'm looking a little crazy right now, but give me a second. Okay. Hey, what's up? Welcome back. We're doing a vegetarian what I eat in a day because I don't eat meat and I haven't done a what I eat in a day in a while. So just got done working out. Obviously, post-workout time, best time of the day. Um, so you guys saw this morning I went to work, had my greens, had my protein, coffee. I used the level one caramel latte um, in my pro in my protein in my coffee. So good, so good. Um, then I had some protein oatmeal and egg bites. And then I had a little energy drink before my workout and all that jazz. So, post workout time. I just want to update you guys that I've really been trying to prioritize protein in my diet. Obviously, being vegetarian and not eating meat, and really, I really try to stick to a plant based diet, but you know, it can be hard. I do eat eggs, but not eating a lot of animal products really is a struggle for me to get my protein in. Um, so I've been trying so hard lately to really hit my protein goal. I'm aiming for about one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So I weigh roughly around 145, not exactly sure. So I've been aiming for 145 grams of protein every day and it has been very hard, but I'm, I'm making it happen. It's just like changes that I need to make to my diet um, to make it happen. And I've actually been really liking it. I've been bringing the Kodiak Cakes protein oatmeal to work with me and just having that plain and then having the egg bites for breakfast. That way I'm getting a high protein, low fat breakfast with some carbs in there. And then obviously I bring my protein powder with me as well so that I can have that in my coffee. Um, so I get a lot of protein in for breakfast and then I have my shake. Post-workout. I don't know what took me so long to get on the post-workout grind, but it is so incredibly important what you do post-workout and the ignition and the formula one from first form is the post-workout stack and is specifically there to help you um, grow and repair your muscles after a workout the form the ignition restores your glycogen and then the formula one is a fast digesting protein that's going to go to help your muscles grow and repair. I have a full video on all my favorite supplements and what they do, so make sure to check that out if you are interested in more. But I'm going to drink this, and then we're gonna make lunch. I have some stuff prepped. I'm, I'm excited for lunch today. I'm gonna do something new, so. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, just showered. Did not fix my hair. I just, I don't care. some lunch now and I have this prepped I made this like big summer salad um, it's it's chickpeas cucumbers tomatoes cauliflower and then I mixed up olive oil garlic salt pepper and then I had this like balsamic lemon vinaigrette um, so I poured that in there, mixed it up, poured it in. It looks really good. It's really good. So I think I'm going to uh, throw some of this into two tortillas with some um, tofu. I cooked tofu for the for the first time last night, and it went really well. I like it. I'm gonna chop it up a little bit thinner for lunch and then I'm gonna throw some hummus on there as well so yeah we're gonna do that for the tofu all I did was I pressed it 
for about 15 minutes and then I seasoned it with just like olive oil and some spices and then I just air fried it for like 20 minutes. Turned out really good. I've never had tofu before. I don't mind it. I was just like looking for a way to get some protein in and sometimes buying plant-based proteins or like alternatives can get pretty pricey and I thought this I thought this tofu was like a good price I don't know I've never bought it before so maybe it wasn't but who knows who knows also I just had to tell you guys like should have known this before I guess I've always known it in the back of my head but I've never been super conscious of it because I don't track my calories but recently I've been tracking just to like make sure that I'm hitting my protein and I've been getting pretty close I'm not gonna lie I have not hit 145 grams but I've been getting 110, 120 grams of protein in every day. And um, I'm starting to see some changes in my body. I The thing about protein is it's going to help get that lean look that you're looking for if you're eating in a calorie deficit and hitting your amount of protein that you need. So for me, I've just been intuitively eating, kind of staying conscious of where I'm at, doing a little bit extra cardio, just trying to lean out for the summer, but I have been struggling for so long to see any changes. And I was getting really frustrated. And you know, I thought that I was getting enough protein in. I was like, I'm drinking the protein shake, I'm doing this, but I really wasn't even close. And I, I just like wasn't seeing changes. I was like, I'm being conscious of what I'm eating. I'm eating more fruits and vegetables. I'm doing extra cardio. And I just have this like stubborn pouch right here like everybody does. Obviously it's normal to have a little bit there, but I just like, I'm, I'm trying to lose a little bit of fat and my excess fat is always held in my stomach. So I was getting super frustrated but now that I've been really focusing on my protein for about the past two to three weeks, I'm already starting to see some changes, some leanness coming through in my stomach, in my abs, um, in my strength in the gym, and it's very exciting. I did two pull-ups today. That's a win for me. Pull-ups are hard. But yeah, if you guys are struggling, um, to kind of get that lean look that you're looking for, to lose a little bit extra body fat, look at your protein intake. Check it out. You need that protein. Your body really needs that protein, especially if you're working hard in the gym. So I've really been focusing on that lately and it's working out pretty well, gotta say. I think I just broke my air fryer. There's that. Are these ready? Yeah. Whoopsies. Um, hopefully I can fix that because I couldn't live by this. <laughs> anyway, just putting some hummus on these and warmed them up a little bit so they would fold better. This is olive tapenade hummus. It's my fave. I love hummus. summer salad. I used to make this when I lived at home a lot and we would put like cubes of feta in it. Oh my god, so good. The only thing I wish I would have had is like a lemon for some like fresh lemon juice in there, but still looks really good. And I love chickpeas, so I love everything in here. I love all vegetables. Maybe that's weird. Some people think it's weird how much I love vegetables, but I just 
especially in the summertime, fresh fruits and veggies. It just is different. Can't prove me wrong. All right, and here we have it. Some little veggie tofu wraps for lunch. Guys, something seriously wrong must have happened in my air fryer um, because the first bite I took of my wrap, I bit into this. This is a screw. snack time I just oh no I dropped my hummus I'm having a heck of a day I just sat outside for a little bit and read my book I actually finished it felt really good I honestly have not had a lot of time lately to do things for myself um, so I finished up my exam that I had to do today and I decided I'm gonna go outside for a little bit and read my book and get some sun I need it and I deserve it so that's what I just did but I'm starving now so I'm gonna have some hummus and cucumbers shout out to Mal my best friend for bringing me all these veggies and fruit um, that I have because her brother's graduation party was this past weekend and her mom sent her home with like all of the leftovers so she um, portioned some of that up and sent it over to me. So thanks, Mal. I'm eating a ton of vegetables this week, but I love it. So I'm just going to have some hummus and cukes. And the list can go on and on. We could have picked any creatine to add to our product line, and we opted to go with micronized creatine. Listen. Snacks are the hardest for me um, because I try to get like at least a little bit of protein in my snacks to like help because otherwise like my meals are just like protein. But what are some high protein snacks that aren't plant or that aren't animal based? Help me. I need some fruit. Like, what do you guys think? High protein snack. I can make some like energy balls with like peanut butter, oats, black seeds. I had some of that last week. I'm out of peanut butter. That never happens. It's really weird. I just always see these people like posting their those like chomps things. The like beef sticks, the chomps beef sticks. Like those look really good, but if you need meat, those would be good. I'm gonna get some like protein bars. I actually might. In my next monthly first form order, I might get some protein bars. My mom has some of them right now. She inspired me to get some. I feel like stacking is hard in general because. I'm either on my go and need something quick, or I'm here and I don't want to sit down and eat an entire bag of chips, but like I could. I could and I would if I had it, so that's why I don't keep chips here, because I would sit down and eat the entire thing. Mixed fruit for a snack. Um, I think Ethan and I are going to his little sister's softball game tonight, so I'm not really sure what dinner is going to be. Probably something on the way home from there. Usually we do like Chipotle, Qdoba, Subway, or Brachos or Qdoba when we like need a quick meal. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm just gonna eat my fruit and contemplate my snacks. Say hi to the vlog. Hi.
Got Subway for dinner. I got a foot long. I've already eaten half of it because I was hangry. I got the veggie. This is all dusty. Veggie on wheat with avocado, spinach, cucumbers, pickles, tomatoes, onions, banana peppers, black olives, and buffalo sauce. And then we got a chocolate chip cookie to split. So. Ooh, I got really cranky there. Hi, Mama. Are you having your dinner now? I was having mine too. Don't wag your tail. She's wagging your tail. Are you having your dinner? Hi, Mama. I am the queen of not doing outros. It's just that. Sorry guys, it is the next day. Um, I got a really bad stomachache last night after dinner. I think it was because I ate way too fast. Um, sometimes when I eat really fast and, and it's spicy, my stomach starts to hurt, but I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't know, I got really bloated and it was really painful and I was just cranky and wanted to go to bed. So we did that, but that was, my full day of eating. I just got back from lunch with Mal and Kenzie. I had a veggie hummus wrap. It was really good. But yeah, that is basically what my diet is like right now, what I'm trying to do, eating vegetarian, working on protein, and all that jazz. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next week.